Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs of Legion Tactical Cutlery and I'm coming at you in Atlantic City with a great knife and another great knife review. This is the M3 Fighting Knife or the M3 Trench Knife. This particular one is from Camillus. This is vintage and I can't wait to bring this to you guys. I love this knife. This is my son's favorite knife. It's fantastic. Let's get on with it, yeah? But before we get into this epic knife, I want to know, yep, that's right, you guessed it, what's in your pocket? Today I'm carrying the regular Al Marcia 2000. This thing is a beast. This is not the automatic version that I have that I still need to get fixed, but this is the regular version. All right, guys, let me know what you have in your pocket. Veterans, active military, you guessed it. Let me know who you are so we can thank you for your service. Comment below. All right, you know what's up next, guys. Shout outs. First up, Neves Knives. Metal Complex. TPC Cooks. The EDC Den. All right, ladies and gentlemen, check out those channels. They are awesome. They're huge and I love them. Okay, let's get into the specs of this knife. Ah, I didn't forget this time, specs first. So this is the M3 fighting knife or the M3 trench knife, all right? The length, total length is 11.75. Blade length is, or the business end, is 6.75 inch. The blade type is spear point. It is a leather stacked handle. This particular one is from Camillus. I will have more specs for you in the comments below. All right, so just a little bit of history with, it, with this knife. It was first issued in uh, 1943, um, issued as a combat knife to airborne and army rangers and these units received priority because they were carrying weapons without bayonets so they were issued this knife for close combat battle for close combat fighting taking out sentries and this ladies and gentlemen is the knife to do it later on in 1943 and 1944 it became available to other units again the units that didn't have bayonets uh, and uh, some uh, of the weapons that didn't have the uh, proper bayonets was like the M1 carbine or the M3 submachine gun, which was the grease gun, if you guys remember. Um, there's a total of 10 manufacturers that I had researched and two of them is Ontario Knife Company and Camillus, and this particular one is a Camillus, and you will see the name brand shortly. All right, guys, I will have more specs for you. This is what I found uh, right now for this knife, but again, I will find some more specs and put it down in the comments below or up on the screen. All right, so let's get into this knife. This is an awesome knife. It's been in storage for a while. I even had it for a long time, way before uh, I had put this away in storage. So this is, in my opinion, a vintage knife for sure. This is also my son's favorite knife. He loved this knife and used to sleep with it at his bed. Now, I apologize if it's a little on the rusty side. It has been in storage. This is one of very, very few knives that did collect a little bit of rust around this area over here. A little bit over here, it's still there. I've got to figure out a way of getting rid of it, cleaning it up. The leather stacked handle is also a little bit messy. And again, I apologize to my viewers, man. I wanted to get this pristine as possible. I oiled this sucker up. I cleaned it up as best as I could. But that's the leather stacked handle. You see the little bent guard over here. I actually love this little setup over here. 
And let's take a look at the business end of the blade. This blade is no joke. It is an extremely sharp blade. After so many years, it's biting up my nail right now. I think I even sharpened up the other side, not as sharp as the business end over here, but still, this is something to take out centuries with. God only knows some of the veterans out there who, who are leaving us on a daily basis, World War II veterans, you know, how they had to use this, this beast right here. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see if we can get it here. There it is, USM3. And let's see if I can get this close up. It is a Camillus. So this is, in my opinion, a great vintage knife and I will never get rid of this knife. When I first bought this, this did come with a leather sheath, also known as the M3 leather sheath. And unfortunately that leather sheath has fallen apart. Um, a long time ago before I even put it in storage. I mean, this knife is pretty old, but a long time before I put it in storage, the M3 leather sheath that it came with did fall apart. So I wind up getting this, which is also period correct, which is the US M881 frog. And as you can see, it's in pretty damn good condition. Maybe just a little bit of rust over here. And again, I gotta clean this up. And if anybody knows the best way to clean up this knife rust wise without doing too much damage to leather or anything else, please let me know in the comments below. I love this knife. I wanna keep this knife. I wanna pass it on to my son, my grandchildren. And you know, the more I can preserve it, the better off I am. I'm just thinking about, you know, greasing this thing up, putting it back in its sheath and uh, wrapping it up in some airtight plastic and just putting it away till till I pass and, you know, give this to my son. But this is a badass knife. Let's take a really close look here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not the best lighting system over here in the uh, hotel room, but I'm gonna do my best to show you as you could see that awesome swedge over here. Okay, the business end, the cutting end is completely on one side and then there is a, a, a business end swedge over here and then we do have the spine so if you needed to choke up which I'm sure that our veterans and soldiers did over the years to do whatever it is that they needed to do a capable knife to do it with man I would take this out into the woods for sure and survive off of this this thing is like a tank as far as I'm concerned this thing's a beast um, I'm not sure what the steel is with this. I will find out and I will have to either put it up on the screen or put it in the comments. But let's take a look at this handle. It's not too bad for a knife that's over 20 years old. It's pretty good. I don't think that this is a World War II knife, but I could be wrong because I knew that some of these companies that were still around were still making them for the civilian population. As you could see, that is an important symbol, the ordinance symbol over there. Um, that is the white over there is Flitz. And I just need to get a toothpick, ladies and gentlemen, to clean that out again. I apologize, I am showing, to you, showing you this knife like this. I feel really bad, but I definitely wanted to bring it to your attention. Um, it is part of my combat series. And I am so happy that I could bring it to you guys and I'm loving this knife and I'm loving that I'm showing you guys. I hope that you knife enthusiasts really appreciate something like this. It is vintage, it is awesome. Also, as you could see, the pommel over here. I guess it's made to bang stuff down, you know? I think this would be a capable survival knife. You know, it's more of a combat knife, more of a fighting knife, but I guarantee you, man, you know, old timers used to make stuff to, to 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 last a long time. Just an amazing knife. I love the guard. I love the blade. This is an epic knife. And I'm just amazed that it's still around. And I'm, <laughs> I appreciate that I still own this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the scabbard real quick. 
This is, I think, a fiberglass scabbard. Again, I did have the leather sheath, but it just fell apart. And I wound up getting this. If I only knew, I would have taken better care of that leather sheath. But this is a sturdy material. Apparently the paratroopers used to put this around their legs. Just I guess in case that uh, they got caught up in the trees, it was easy for them to, to reach down, grab it, and cut down their parachute cord. This is the old time belt loop that they would put it around their, uh, their, their belt. I forgot what that belt was called that combat belt. I used to actually own a couple of those and God knows what I did with them. Let's put the knife inside the sheath real quick. It is ambidextrous. You could fit it both ways, depending on what you want. I prefer this way. It straps in. There we go. A little it's a little noisy but you know I'm sure that the soldiers and paratroopers were taking care of that noise I doubt they went into combat being all noisy still fantastic fantastic knife I am happy to bring it to you guys I am excited this was one of the the very few knives I wanted to show you at the, at the end as a grand finale of my combat series and yeah, it's fantastic. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this knife or not. I would appreciate to know. Let's go over the shout outs again. Neves Knives, Metal Complex, TPC Cooks, and the EDC Den. Also, don't forget, let me know what's in your pocket. This is the Al Marcier again, and this is another man who forged his knives from battle. The man knew what he was doing, Al Mar. God bless Al Mar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what's in your pocket. Again, vets, active military, we love you. You guys have a place here on my channel. I know that there's a lot of other channels out there that they love the military, they love the veterans. Check them out also, okay? All right. Also, I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are veterans. There are military people who come out of the service and they have some challenges. And one of these challenges is suicide. Veterans, military, we want you around. We love you. This channel wants you around. I'm going to post phone number and some links up on the screen. They will be also pinned in my comments and in my description. Please vets, please military, before you do the unthinkable, check out those websites, make a phone call. We want you around and your families love you, okay? All right. That's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. I was really happy to bring this to you. I hope you enjoyed it. This is, as far as I'm concerned, an epic, epic knife. It's old time, it's old school, it's badass, all right? This has been the Camillus M3 fighting knife or the M3 trench knife. All right, guys, I so much appreciate my subscribers. Thank you very much. You guys have a nice day. Take care, bye-bye.